how can you work out what's the right amount for a student to have? I think you need that little bit of time to sit down and think, OK, let's do some research, let's look online. So how much are rents in the area? Let's look at how much gas and electricity we're using, how much that costs. And then being that sort of savvy consumer together, going to the different supermarkets together, looking at the different costs of food in the different supermarkets, figuring out travel and transportation. Can you get a rail card? What kinds of deals can you get online? What's the best deal to get with the bank account that I choose? If you spend time up front working out those things together, there's a good chance you're going to be fairly right, at least about the fixed costs. You may not quite know how much the big costs in the student union bar, um, but you're going to have a good idea and be able to put that budget together. It's much harder to know now, isn't it, how much a student needs to get by through an academic year. How can parents work it out? It is very difficult. There's two different types of loans available. So there's the tuition loan, which will cover the cost of the tuition fees. And then there's a maintenance loan as well. And that depends on where you're studying. So students in London get a, um, a bigger loan than students studying outside London. If you live at home, you'll get less than if you're living in university or rented, private rented accommodation. Um, I know when I went to uni, my dad was totally unrealistic and he gave me 20 pounds a week. And it was actually really stressful. And it wasn't because I was being stupid with my money. Other tools parents can use online to look up and it's a the average student gets £6,000 a year to live on, £10,000 a year to learn, to at least give you a guide as to what you should be running a budget around? So there are lots of tools. Uh, uh, one thing that's definitely worth looking at is on the National Union of Students website, where, where there is all sorts of data that tells you, depending on which part of the country you're, you're going to study in, what the costs of, uh, of living are in those places, and, uh, and with lots of tools to help you budget. So there's, there's some really good things online.